Yo, 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 what's good, y'all, man? It's your boy, one, a.k.a. Swag. On them. First thing first, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe. We're going to talk about some Man 22 content right now. Uh, let's go ahead and get after it. Um, so what I got up here right now is uh, player movement updates on next gen and Man 22. I want to kind of break this down more in the context in and more like teaching in. Um, so when we're talking like max effort animations for all players who are running at top speed. That means like if... You're on next gen only though, okay? If you're running full speed with like Derrick Henry, it's it's gonna take a lot. Like you're gonna need to damn near hit stick him, because most likely he's probably gonna run through you if he's running full speed, because that's realistic. You know what I mean? They're really trying to make the game a little bit more realistic. So when guys have full momentum, it's difficult to do certain things, make tackles and things like that. Um, I think some of the pro players, the better players, are able to kind of get up get over that which is kind of making the tackle but we'll find out we'll find out real quick what happens when the game comes out um another one they talked about too also is more responsive control for qbs to and from scramble what that means is like there's been a lot of difficulties in madden with the quarterback when he's on scramble mode in regards to just it not being like taking a while for him to really take off it sounds like now they're going to make it a little bit faster for guys to take off or kind of respond because there'll be times in the old game that you will try to take off and it'll just take like, it's just like, geez, like, come on, like, you're like, you're slow. Uh, so it seems like they're trying to fix that, that portion of it. That sounds pretty cool with the movement updates. Um, signature releases and cuts from receivers and route, route, um, route running. I think that's some next gen stuff that's gonna they're gonna have on there. Different receivers are gonna have different types of moves that they do at the front of the line of scrimmage, and it seems like they're gonna try to imitate that in the game. We'll see what that looks like. I don't know how they do that behind the scenes. I'm pretty sure they got something going on, but everybody's gonna be different in regards to release. So maybe they did some type of footage with the stars and how they get off and gave everybody else the basic stuff. But like everybody's gonna have different type of releases and things like that inside, outside, quick feet. Uh, a little skip the gaddle, like all that good stuff. Uh, the other thing they have on here too also is more control when turning up the field after a catch. Now, what they mean by that is I know a lot of times we will see like with Ezekiel Elliott and um, a lot of other backs and like it just stuff when it's close to the flat route, like when they're running hard flat and uh, they're catching it, what happens is that when they're going for it, like they'll just run out of bounds instead of being able to like turn up field and you'll be like, bro, it doesn't make any sense why they can't turn up field. So it seems like now they're fixing that in which they're going to make guys be able to turn up field and get up field when, um, what's it called? <clears throat> when these guys like are to the sideline, have that awareness. So it looks like they're stepping that up. I can't, I can't see this other one. What's that thing say? Contextual intelligence tackling. Touch player down, sideline tackles, early hurdle, and more. So what that means by that, what they mean by that in regards to just like the tackling intelligence, um, I mean, shoot, it's going to be adjusting like if you're out, like you're running to like the sideline, you're going to have probably like a tackle animation, which they're going to like th throw that fool to the sideline. Um, or early hurdle, if someone's trying to jump, there's a tackle animation to really blow somebody up rather than catching them thin air, uh, rather than catching them beforehand. Um, but the one that catches my attention the most is a uh, touch player down. I think that's when guys are on the floor. You can come up and just kind of just tap, tap, tap them so you don't have to just like it doesn't. I don't think they've had that. Like how you just kind of just run by them. So when guys, some guys like get possessing coaches and they're trying to get up, you can run by and tap them while they're on the floor. Um, that's what I think they're going to be adding in. And also sideline, sideline tackles again. It's just throwing guys to the, to the sideline when that takes place. But anyways, man, uh, enough of the player movements, updates on next gen. I uh, hope this video was helpful. Kind of give you guys some understanding what they're talking about. Anyways, man, your boy A1 is out. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe. Yeah.